Hi, my name is John Clarkson. I'm a technical writer with the Link Product Group. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a phone call to a Link client and then use speech recognition to create message text, which you can broadcast in an IM message to a distribution list. Imagine the typical day of Kate Berger, a stockbroker for Northwind Traders. She spends part of every day visiting clients and businesses, and she discovers a wonderful and highly urgent investment opportunity for her clients. She needs to notify them now to buy stock in Fabricam Inc. as long as the price is below $20. She leaves her meeting, steps into the lobby, dials the number on her cell phone and says buy Fabricam maximum 20 send and within minutes each of her customers receives an IM message with the following text. Hi this is your broker Kate Berger with an urgent recommendation to buy Fabricam with a maximum value of $20. To develop this application, I use two products, Microsoft Unified Communications API 3.0 Core SDK, or UCMA, and Microsoft Link 2010 SDK. My code editor was Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. The application requires Microsoft Link Server and three logged-in clients. In this case, my clients were Microsoft Link 2010. So this is the scenario I'm going to demonstrate. You can see here in the slide, we've got a user making a voice call to a UCMA application and then the UCMA application performs speech recognition and sends an IM message to three different SIP URIs. So we'll demonstrate how the application works and then I'll walk you through it and finish off with some pointers to more information. So we need to start off by making a phone call. I'm going to call another client. You can see here soon the call will be connecting. And as soon as it's connected, I'm going to go ahead. Buy Fabricam maximum 20 send. And the IM messages should start rolling in here. Here's the first one. You can see there's the text which matches what I said. And we'll take a look at another machine, Contoso Desktop. There's our IM message. And there's our text. And a third machine, our Contoso App Server. You can see our console window. There's our IM message. And the console has all the messages that the application sent out. And we'll close that, which closes the application. And then we'll look at Visual Studio and take a look at the code we used. First of all, these three namespaces are core UCMA namespaces. And the next two are speech recognition namespaces from the Microsoft Speech Platform SDK, which is part of UCMA. You'll get it when you download it. And then there's the sample helper file, which comes from the Quick Starts common folder. Two namespaces from the Microsoft Link 2010 SDK. And the last one here, system.config, you're going to need to read the contents of your app.config file. And then down inside the class, there's a set of declarations, all of these for objects that you're going to be seeing more of down below in the code. And then there's a set of auto reset event objects that we use to pause the main thread while background threads are processing. And there's our main method, which is obviously used to launch the application. And it launches the run method, which performs the, drives the speech recognition. We begin by opening up our UCMA sample helper file, which does the heavy lifting on creating endpoints and creating the platform. And it uses the, we're going to create an established user endpoint. We're going to register for an incoming call. And then we're going to create a speech recognition connector and attach an audio video flow which will act as the connector and the connection for our application. And next we're going to start the speech recognition connector and we'll create the speech recognition engine and next down here we're going to be adding the grammar. And you can see the vocabulary that we set up here. About nine different words the application needs to be prepared to recognize. 
and we use the load grammar method and the grammar builder class to compose this grammar for the application. And then I added some format settings and connected to the speech recognition stream and told the speech recognition engine to prepare for multiple asynchronous recognitions and then we pause until recognition completes and when that's done we tear down components and the platform and the next thing I think we want to take a look at is the speech recognition event itself which is down at the bottom of our events region let's go down there down to the bottom of events and there it is and basically we're just getting our results out of the speech recognized event args class you can see here recognition results and we're loading those results into a string array and if perchance the user says send then we're launching the send IM method which we'll take a look at next it's right here and this is the one we use for sending out our instant messages and the first two statements here we're getting a link automation object and then here we're adding our three SIP URIs that the messages will be sent to and next we're going to specify message settings prominently that the message what the message text is and the fact that the message will be sent immediately we're using the begin start conversation method to send our IMs and we're pausing the see the parameters here uh, it's an instant message we're going to use that list of SIP URIs and we're going to use those settings we created and then we're pausing the main thread until it's complete and then up here a bit you can see we're calling the IM message text method which builds the message text for our instant messages and it's pretty simple we're just taking the various elements out of the string array and putting them into variables and putting it back together into a message depending on whether it's a buy or sell message and then we've got five event handlers that I want to show you uh, the audio video call received event basically binds an event handler for the state changed event and accepts the call and then the audio video call state changed event is for logging only the audio video flow state changed event watches for the call going to terminated the audio video call flow configuration requested event uh, binds an event handler for the state changed event and of course speech recognized we already looked at it builds our array for us and then there's three callback methods the call accept CB call accept callback checks for successful call acceptance the call terminated callback terminates the call and the conversation and unregisters an event handler and the conversation terminated callback finishes terminating the conversation and unregisters for incoming calls so the next thing I think we want to take a look at is some other sources for information that I think you want to know about uh, up on the MSDN library first of all the documentation for UCMA the current version is in the MSDN library under servers and enterprise development if you go down to link 2010 and then under that there's a set of nodes and one of those a couple of them actually are UCMA 3 documentation and then we'll take a look at speech recognition stuff but first remember I want to show you the technical articles node under here if you want more background on speech recognition using UCMA Mark Parker has a uh, real good survey series of five articles and I want to thank Mark for a lot of the code that's in this demonstration and we'll take a look at the uh, speech docs in MSDN library here They're in kind of a surprising location you may not easily find them but you can see here they're up under office development under 2007 Microsoft Office system and then under UCMA version 2 you'll see these namespaces the speech recognition namespace which we used in this demonstration and then further down there's a speech recognition 
speech synthesis namespace and a uh, SRGS grammar namespace. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration.